this thing's amazing. I don't know why people think it feels cheap. Um, just kind of showing you guys a little bit. I still gotta put the screen protector on here. Here's it next to the play date. Um, same dimensions, a little bit different. Um, let's see here. What am I looking at here? Let me take a look. You are looking at a group of small figurines or decorations. Mm, that's pretty accurate. Can you read the time? They appear to be stylized dragon or dinosaur-like creatures with a metallic shimmering finish. Taking a look now. The time shown in the image is 4.13 on Wednesday, May 1st. Uh, what else can you tell me about this photo? Let me see. The image shows a group of small, abstract metal sculptures that appear to be flying creatures or monsters. They have a metallic, dark purple or gray color and feature angular Very geometric accurate. shapes and details. These sculptures seem to be displayed on a flat surface, perhaps a table or shelf, with a mobile device or smartphone in the foreground showing the current time and date, which is Wednesday, May 1st at 4.14 p.m. What do you think about uh, this device? Taking a look now. This appears to be a portable yellow gaming device. It has a small screen displaying text and buttons for controls. The device looks compact and handheld, suggesting it is likely a portable gaming system or handheld console. Without more context, I can't provide specifics about the model or features, but it seems to be a self-contained, portable gaming platform that the user can interact with on the go. Can you read this? Taking a look now. Yes, I can read the information provided in the image. The image shows the product details and features of an anti-glare screen protector for a Kindle e-reader device. That gives a, a summary instead of reading the whole thing. Um, this thing's dope. Uh, I took a bunch of other videos, but then like after updating it and all the other things... Um, I... Um, I don't know. I haven't posted those, but I just, after playing with it for like a little bit, oh, it's cool. I, I wish you, there's like things, there's nothing, nothing that like the reviewers say this is cheap. This doesn't feel cheap. This feels good in the hand. Um, the scroll wheel feels, um, Let's see here. Let me get out of here. The scroll wheel feels like a little tension on there, but it feels premium. I don't know what people are talking about. Um, uh, getting in the menu is not bad. You have to shake it. And once you get in the menu, you know, the only thing I wish they updated was, yes, you have to hold and then do volume up and down, which is dumb. I, I think they could have done like you push it once and then it do it and then go up because every time you go up is how you go back so you're in there you go up and then push your button so that's doable manageable you know um people don't show this let me see if i can show this without showing my information uh, i don't want to show you the, my information but there's the memory and um Maybe I don't want to show you that because you shows memory and um, storage. There's memory and storage. People, I haven't seen anyone show that. Um, so RAM and memory. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you want to go back, you just go to the top, you know. Um my time was accurate, you know. 
people said the time wasn't working. Who knows? This thing is cool. Uh, a battery life? Yes, I feel like battery life drains, but I'm sure they'll fix that in an update. Um, what else here could I do? It charges really slow. I don't know if it's just what it's supposed to charge at, but it only charges at 5 watts. Like, uh, it charges fast because there's not really a big battery in there. I'm thinking about maybe, um, maybe there's some kind of, like, battery mod we could put on there. People could put on, like, there with the case or something. And then just put a, a Y, you know, make a little bit more battery life. Thinking about that, but it charges really quick. So if you have, like, one of these around, you know, you can just plug it in. And uh, I was checking the voltage here. Um... Five watts, you know. This thing is amazing, and uh, for two hundred dollars, guys, you guys are asking for a lot for two hundred bucks. This thing's amazing for two hundred bucks. Um, what else can I do here? Oh, here's a rabbit. Let's see. What is this a picture of? This is a picture of a plush, furry, white unicorn toy. Eh. The unicorn has a pink and colorful face. It's a rabbit, horns, but that's and okay. appears to be sitting on a desk or table. There is also some packaging visible, indicating this may be a toy or product that was recently purchased or received. What is this a picture of? Let me take a look. This is a picture of a plush, pink and white stuffed animal, likely a dog or other fuzzy animal, sitting next to a purple PlayStation controller. The controller appears to have the warranty information visible on it. <laughs> That's funny. Mm. Um, I don't know what else I could do. This is just my first video that I'm going to post. Can you read that text? Let me take a look. Yes, the image shows the time is 4.20 on Wednesday, May 1st. Um, you know, this is what I was actually wondering if it could do, is help me send reply messages to people. Um, I don't know if it could. I actually haven't tried it yet. So let me, um, uh, let's see here. All right. I'm looking for something that I could, um, for it to read real quick. Here, maybe my friend Kaylina. There you go. Um, can you read this conversation? Taking a look now. Yes. I can see and read the conversation displayed in the image. It appears to be a text discussion about responsibility and purpose in life, particularly for those dealing with alcoholism. The key points I can gather from the image are responsibility gives you purpose and purpose pulls you out of the dark times. As alcoholics, we have dark times. The message suggests taking on as much responsibility as you can handle, as that is the meaning to life. The conversation ends with the statement, James is there, LOL. You know, I like that it gave a summary and not actually read it. 
word for word, which is better because I don't have to read the whole thing. I don't know if it could do a reply yet on the conversation, but maybe it can. Can you suggest a reply for this conversation to my friend and just follow up with the information that you have? Let me take a look. I see an image that appears to be a conversation on a messaging app. Hmm. Not sure if it really got Since it. Since I cannot identify the individual in the image, I will focus on describing what I observe without naming or identifying anyone. The conversation well, appears to be about the meaning and importance of life worth living and getting out of the dark. The person is expressing sentiments just about finding meaning, the details. responsibility. I mean, I like how ChatGPT could While I help you reply messages and based on emails context, and stuff. A thoughtful and caring response it doesn't mean this can't do it. I just don't really know how to get it to do it. Could be appropriate. The overall tone seems meaningful. But, so continuing the dialogue it's pretty in a fun. Way that this is the funnest two hundred dollar device I've ever played with in my life, and it's not like it is heavy. It feels premium. Like, I don't know why people on YouTube are saying it feels cheap. Like it's I don't know how much it weighs. I gotta I don't have to weigh it, but it feels good. This this feels good too. Like Teenage Engineering makes good stuff. Like, I try to see if this would fit here in this case. It would have been cool if they put little magnet things and this could work. But, um, I'm going to, I always keep this on me because this is, thing's awesomely fun. I play, uh, a Tetris on here. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of these, but they're cool. Tons of games on here. Gotta play Tetris though. Alright, I don't know what else to do for this video, so I'm going to end it here. I don't want to get copyright Tetris music on my video. So, anyways, I haven't tried any of the stuff you can hook it up to. Um, the rabbit hole portal thing, um, they don't really tell you what the website is, so like, I had to like try to figure that out on my own. I wish it was on the main website where you could go to it real quick. But it's not. You have to like remember it after you logged in your first time, which is pretty annoying. But like, here's my rabbit thing. Uh, there's my name. Um, Mark has lost. That's kind of cool. Don't want to do that. But it has like your connections here. I don't have anything connected because I don't have. I don't do uber or any of these things uh this is what i was a little sad about i didn't know this was like a thing you connect and then you have to pay for it i don't know how much it is i'll have to look it up but i'll probably pay for it just because i like the i i could i figured you'd had to pay for something like that so um it's like a paid service there uh and then i'm pretty sure it has to be a paid uh spotify which makes sense because the Spotify remote that you put in your car is a paid thing. Uber. I don't care about Uber or food. Um, those are expensive. I don't care about that. But what else can we do here in the rabbit hole? Uh, this journal. Um, I don't know why this doesn't show up here. Maybe I'm doing, I need to do something. But nothing shows up in there yet. Um... What else? Uh, I don't know. Doesn't feel cheap. That's what I like to em empathize. The orange is really bright. Everyone is right. The orange does not show up right on any anything. So um, maybe I could show you like through another phone. Uh, it it's so bright the orange does not show up on the video like it's just think about this orange and then go a little bit brighter like like a brighter orange like here's next to purple like this purple is really dark too um so it's i don't know how to describe it but it's really 
orange. <laughs> it's like the orangest orange you could that I have. Like it's almost like a orangish red if if you had to say it's a color. But it doesn't show up on the video. Like you cannot like it no, it doesn't show up on the video. Anyways, I'm gonna put the screen protector on it because I want to take care of my R1 device because this thing is amazing. I can't wait till it gets better to updates. Uh, I wish there was a screen protector for the little camera thing. I looked on Amazon. Maybe I could cut one out. I might cut one out. Maybe put a piece of tape. I just want to protect this thing. I don't want it to get damaged. So uh, maybe like someone could make one. You know, I would totally buy one if you guys someone to make one. Um, I want it to be glass though, like these. You know, I want it to be tempered glass. Um, I might 3D print a case here in a little bit and try it out. Um, I'll let you know how that goes. Um, I think that's it. Battery life. See, you could go. You could go back home. I don't know why people say you can't. You have to shake it. Brightness. I just don't like that you have to hold this button and then, like, I don't know. It's not that bad. It's not like a big deal, but you definitely have to use two hands to do it. But, um, it makes sense why you have to do it, you know? I mean, especially from, because this screen, too, this screen, um, it's not that annoying, you know? Not that bad. Um, I wish there was a button in here to access the recorder, like at least a menu or something, because I like want to record when like I don't want to save voice recording, you know, on a machine. So I don't know. Um, I don't know how to do it in the terminal yet. So maybe there's a command that I don't know yet how to do. Um, I got a date early too from shipping. Oh, if you get yours, if you get yours and you're wondering, it just comes in like a plastic bag, you know, like in your mailbox. So, um, the wrapping experience was great. It felt like a juicy wrap, uh, juicy, juicy wrapping. And this thing doubles as a terminal to to like put it in terminal mode like that which is dope so i didn't see the famous youtubers do that so um it's cool this case is cool anyways i think that's it for now